Hey guys, welcome back to this Sunday fun day, kind of a mailbag video of just general gameplay as I talk about what's occurred during the week and general questions that people have about the game or gameplay and just regular H1Z1 little innocuous related items. If you're new to the channel or a frequent visitor, welcome guys. I encourage you right now, stop what you're doing, whatever it is that you're doing. Go down and click on that watermark in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe so you'll continue to get additional news and information concerning H1Z1 and any other pertinent information about the game. Alright, so guys, we're going to start it off with the fact that there is some terrible rubber banding going on in the game right now. If you've been uh, to the visitor center or any of those areas, you know how uh, the rubber banding can be pretty bad. I was at the restaurant and gas station that is you know the gas station and restaurant where you do the turn in for the worn letter and it was super bad right there i'm looking for my pick it was really bad there and almost died two different times almost died at the the visitor center as well so the rubber banding super super bad hope that gets addressed very soon as I collect some rocks and materials here, I wanted to recognize Taz Daz, the Mad Aussie. I think it's the Mad Aussie. I believe it is. It seems appropriate and uh, to the name there. Uh, he uh, outlined that it takes about 19 minutes to restore stone and trees. And I did respond to him to tell him that what he'll learn from this is uh, how often the team actually makes changes to the game. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm collecting to build my foundation. And I'm kind of curious if I'm going to be able to uh, even put it down over here because there are two other bases. I knew something was coming through that rock. Just wasn't sure what it was. So here's a base here. Very nicely done. And there's a base right up there. So we'll just have to see if, in fact, I'll be able to get the foundation down right there. And as you guys might recall, that's where the original plots were that we had in Badwater Canyon. If you guys are new to the game or are returning players, um, at one time Badwater Canyon had specific locations that required that we get currency, in-game currency, from Corporal Moran. I had someone ask me the other day where Corporal Moran was. Well, they've removed him. He's no longer in the game. And so we now can freely build again because that was kind of a sticking point for some players. Need 50 stone, right? To build the foundation. So it was a sticking point for some players, so the devs had made changes to that. For those that asked those questions, I hope that kind of answered it. And I did respond to those that did ask it. The next question uh, that I want to address is from All for Catastrophe. You might know her from the Reddit forums as well as producing her own YouTube videos. As I mentioned in the Friday vlog, which I'm going to mention and or link right here in the top right hand corner. The Friday vlog is something I'm going to do where you guys can see, you know, kind of see me directly. I have, I've, had, I've done reveals before. <laughs> Apparently there's people that didn't realize that uh, I have done reveals before. But if you ever wanted to see what I look like. Uh, you'll quickly probably discover why I prefer being behind the camera instead of in front of it. But anyway, suffice it to say that um, I will be doing like a Friday vlog that's kind of about the channel and things like that. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that during the course of being a creator, I'm part of the YouTube community. And so there's just a lot going on there. I won't go into all the details about it. You can watch the vlog. It'll explain it there. And... Um, you can see why that was generated but I want to be a little more proactive with the channel I know you guys asked for these types of videos um, I'm glad you like them uh, these are probably some of the easiest ones to actually make as far as just um, gameplay in and of itself uh, the productions the fly-ins and all the little uh, pieces set pieces that you guys see adjustments to microphone sounds and all those things are all done during the course of uh, putting together say like an update video and stuff like that uh, for every minute a video you guys see like on an update video or a news video where you're seeing like an actual production with the nice fly-ins and all those sorts of things where there's all the production value 
that's going on, those actually take several hours to make. Because, like, for example, I know you guys probably don't really care if it's night or day, but I do. And you know my little joke, right, guys? Every time I go to record or shoot, or shoot video or do screens, it's always night. It's always night. It's just always night. Now, I want to talk about that too because I see that a lot in Reddit. People say, hey, the game's too long. It's, it's always night in the game. Why is it always night? There's a couple reasons. Now, the last time I actually physically checked this with a stopwatch and a timer, it was, I think, 37 minutes day, 35 nights. Something to, something to that effect. What I'm trying to do now is collect enough um, copper and zinc for nails as well as the ability to build um i still need to build the barbecue grill so what i like to do is um build the furnace and stuff don't you like how i just jump around see see the difference between doing like a full-on production versus live mic because i've got like so many things going on in my mind at the same time and i can just go into so many different directions so <clears throat> what happened was last time i timed it, it was 37 37 day 35 nights something to that effect with within within that boundary. Um, now, if you guys play EQ, EQ2, or even Planet Side 2, I can't confirm this in Planet Side 2, but as far as EQ, it was always 45 day, 45 night. Um, so I assume they just adopt that across the board because it was the same way it was in Landmark. Landmark was also 45 day, 45 night, but eventually we were able to. Um, do I have 15 steel? I don't. Okay, so I need steel. So the nighttime has been adjusted for this game several times. Um, I think the intention is that it remain as dark because it's more menacing and more dangerous and stuff that goes on, you know, at night and so forth. But we've seen so many changes to zombies in and of themselves. But I believe me, guys, I empathize with you in incredibly when it it's like you come in and it's just like night. I don't really have a problem with it being night if I'm just solo playing. But for recording value, just from my old school background in production and filming, it's always, you know, light, light, light. You'll hear it all the time um, about how important lighting is uh, on your subject or whatever you're doing. So that's why I have sometimes adjusted the... Um, the settings, the I and I file, which right now uh, also doing a lot of changes in production. So little changes to the mic, little changes to um, doing a two track recording right now. So if the game is too loud or excessive, uh, although the game music is completely turned down. I, I Do you guys remember hearing much game music in Badwater Canyon? I don't recall hearing a lot of music in Badwater Canyon as opposed to say like Z1. It's like triggered in different areas that you go to. It's on like a little trigger area. Uh, for the music to spawn uh, for that but um, so our next topic is going to be about 2018 and where is the game going in 2018 I think we're gonna hear the most out of the team this year I just I just think that 2018 is gonna be the year where we get more definitive answers a more definitive direction in the game and I'm anticipating as you guys probably are too a very large patch of some sort coming up real soon and it will probably happen here on the test server first which will probably require a wipe because we've not had a wipe on the test server I'm gonna say in two months you guys are welcome to share your thoughts in the comments about how long it's actually been I think it's been about two months since we've had an update to um, to the test server uh, right now, I'm currently playing on live because, uh, as you can see, I'm just getting things ready for the foundation. Which leads me into the next set of questions and stuff that's been going on since the beginning of the game. If you guys have been following me since the beginning of the game, you know that when I first started covering the game, I had about anywhere from 8 to 12 guildmates playing at a particular time. Maybe not all at once, but at a particular time. And during those times, we did play a lot on PvP. And this is what I'm segueing into, is the PvP, PvE argument that I see across the game. Either directed at me, or directed at other uh, YouTube coverage, or just conversation. Guys, there is a reason why YouTube creators create on PvE. Most of you who do actually play PvP know why. Right? Real simple. One, if I'm out collecting material like I'm doing right now as a solo player, there's good chances I could be killed in PvP. 
Not only that, you construct your base. I mean, how many times do you see it posted in the forums? People complaining about being a solo player and having their bases raided. Yes, solo play, whatever. The, the point being is, the reason you see creators on PvE, for the most part, doing things like what I'm doing right now is to be able to cover the game and, and give you the coverage without being killed in the process. So that should be kind of obvious. So for those thinking that they were trying to demonstrate their gaming prowess or that game skill or game danger, it just isn't practical. It is not practical to waste so much time, so much energy, and so much effort into trying to cover a game in PvP for the sake of looking powerful, significant, and um, being part of the more dangerous environment, the area where all the cool people are, apparently. But anyway, so that you guys know what all that means, so it's not even that big of a deal. So I just wanted to address that. But overall, I feel like you know, the, the performance is has increased in certain areas. Now, this um, rubber banding is probably something that will have to be addressed. I don't know what may have changed in the process of uh, in the game that has caused that is causing it or the the reasons for it. But it does happen in certain areas, so it must be assets or something within that area that's causing it. So I'm gonna go back down and uh, make that grill. Should I, uh, let me see, furnace, let me make that too. <laughs> also, if you guys are on Twitch, I know a lot of you guys enjoy Twitch. It's kind of where Daybreak really focuses a lot of its attention, particularly for advertising the game and bringing the game to an audience, it's kind of the hype, their hype train, their their new sense of public relations to generate attention for the game. It just seems like it's suddenly lighter now, doesn't it? I don't know if I've adjusted the I and I on um, live. I don't think I have. Let's go ahead and get that barbecue grill going. And I didn't even look to see if we had enough for a furnace. We do. Oh, that's a bandage. Furnace. Alright, so we're going to need a little more steel. We got 25 steel. What do we need? It's because we need more zinc and copper. We have 17 zinc, so we got enough of that. When we, um, got five zinc here. Let's see. Yeah, we need more zinc. Alright, so we'll grab some zinc now. We'll go ahead and put the screws up. We'll just go ahead and put everything back up. I'm going to just come back. I'm going to just grab some more zinc. But going back to Taz as well. There's, uh, I'm just curious what you got. If you guys want to mention people that you watch that cover the game, I'm curious to know who it is that you guys watch. Because it's, it's like going back to Twitch again. So much is directed at Twitch content or Twitch players. I don't have anything against Twitch. I used to cover Twitch or I used to cover the game in Twitch. As a matter of fact, the last time I did a live coverage on Twitch was covering H1Z1 way back when the game first launched. And uh, we quickly quickly discovered that people finding out where our bases and stuff was was a really bad idea. I mean, if for, for, the, for the guild and for the production value. Yeah, there's guys out there like Kill Cam, Matty Ace, and Prince Vids who did a lot of PvP coverage. But it was clear to see even there that, you know, unless you have, like, people that can defend your base, defend your loot, it can be really challenging to come back and then have all your stuff gone when you're trying to do a video coverage. So there's always that. But if you go to Twitch, I'm going to leave a link to my Twitch in the published section below, and I'll probably put, like, a little graphic image up here on the screen too. It's Buzzweaver just like it is across all social media. If you haven't already, make sure you're following me on social media because that's where you're going to get a lot more of the information. I'm still waiting to get my channel tab in YouTube and basically it's just going to work very much like a, like a Twitter or a Facebook type feed where you can just post like little innocuous little statements and stuff. If you're subscribed to the channel and you have notification, I think it notifies you every time. So... 
I'm going to try not to post too much, but typically across social media, I'm posting content about every four hours. Today is Sunday, so that's really where you're going to see a lot more activity because it's just a better time. Sundays are when most people are checking their social media because most people are off on Sundays, regardless of what type of work they do. Typically, people are off on Sundays. So that's why Sundays are such a heavy traffic day. And I'm just going to continue working on getting additional material. I'm going to go ahead and just wrap the video up here, guys. And just thank you again, as always, for your support for the channel. I'm also going to leave a link right here. The icon tab, the buzz icon tab for you guys to subscribe. If you haven't already, be sure to do that so you'll get continued coverage of the game. Guys, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.